Hi, this is Joe Bossa with Music Radar, and I'm here with world-renowned drummer Gavin Harrison. How are you doing? I'm good, thank it's you. It's a pleasure to see you. Pleasure to be here. And we are here with your very own signature snare drum, yep. the, the Protein. Yep. And really quick, why don't you tell me what you were looking for, basically, in your own signature snare? Well, a no-compromise snare drum that I really wanted, you know, based on my experiences of playing professionally since 1979, uh, you know, I've been in a lot of bands, a lot mm -hmm. of situations, lots of uh, different artists, and using drums that over the years I've found out what I think, in my opinion, really works for me. Right, right. So this drum <coughs> is actually called the Protean. Protean, right? oh. Protean. It's nothing to do with teen or protein or being a teenager or drinking uh, protein drinks, <laughs> okay. right? Protean, it comes from the Greek mythology and it means quickly adaptable, changeable, versatile, which this snare drum is. So, now we have the birch wood construction. Yeah, this is six ply hand selected premium birch wood. Uh, so it's six millimeters. Um, this has hybrid bearing edges. Mm -hmm. So on the top is the vintage rounded bearing edge, which gives you obviously more contact, the skin more contact with the, with the wood. And that can give you a nice fat tone, yeah, which yeah. is something I always want in a drum. On the bottom is the sharp 45 degree standard bearing edge, which of course, you know, the bottom head's all about sensitivity yeah, yeah, yeah. and passing, translating your ghost notes, the articulation through to the bottom head. So they're, two, they're doing two different jobs, especially on a snare drum. So this is my ideal combination to have, you know, the vintage round bearing edge on the top and the sharp 45 degree on the bottom. It has the long lugs on it. Um, you know, this is probably the only, snare drum's the only drum I really put a lot of tension into. Yeah, yeah. So when you've got a lot of tension on the top and the bottom, it's equaled out because it's all getting pulled into one box. Right, right. It's got a sort of silky, smooth black finish. It's almost impossible to leave fingerprints on. And we just have to say, the, the, the look of the hardware, I just love the Art Deco. Yeah, that's classic. exactly what I was going for. Yes. So we, we came up with these white underlays, yeah. which does give it a bit of a classic Art Deco look. I wanted a simple, classic look because I want people to use it with their kit, right? If I'd have made a drum that had, you know, it's like purple with green stripes and yellow dots on, it's probably not going to go with your drum set that might be blue or red or, you know. But Gene so, Krupa could have played this. Gene Krupa could have played. This will go with any, any drum kit, yes. you know, including the many Sona kits that I have. So that's the bearing edges. Now, it also has uh, hybrid hoops. Right. This is the S hoop, which you may be familiar with. It has a flange which comes this way. On the bottom is a standard triple flange but with these pieces cut out right. and that gives you the advantage of removing the snare wires like this nice. these clips spring-loaded clips are part of the uh, the new dual glide snare throw off by Sona which really is and I'm not just saying this because I'm standing on the Sona booth at NAMM this really is the best throw off I've ever used and I've got quite a, a collection of snare drums at home because it's got a nice long throw and if you're someone who likes to have the snares quite tight, as yeah, I yeah. do, sometimes with other, with, other, with other strainers, when you've got the snares on quite tight and you go to the throw off, you can still hear the snares yeah, hitting. Yeah, yeah. But this has got a really long throw, so nice. you can't hear the snares. It's really smooth, quiet thing. Right. Now, the, uh, it comes with the, you know, the standard Remo control sound, reverse dot, and I took advantage of the S hoops so I could put in some um, three different types of dampening ring, right? Now, of course, with a dampening ring and the S hoop is a fantastic combination because they can't, they can't come out right. when you're playing nice. them. That was always the drag when you put a dampening hoop on a normal triple flange, right. two rim shots and the things in the front row, yeah. right? Now, with this new system, it comes with uh, this box and it has two alternative snare wires. I really am a big fan of having a few wires and this is eight strands, yes. they're all eight strands. I've never been a fan of having like 40, 
eight the big, strands. The big net. Yeah. Well, what you end up with is with a snare that's all snare and just a little bit of drum. This way you end up with a lot more drum sound with the snare yeah. kind of on the edge of it, right? And I found that this helps, especially with sym sympathetic vibration on the toms. And this means you can, you know, reasonably, it's a kind of subtle thing, but you can change the whole vibe of the snare drum by replacing the other snare wires. This, this one is what we call the straight eight. This is straight yeah. eight steel wires down the center. This is the brass spacer. And you can see that they're spaced out where there's a snare, a gap, a snare, a gap. There's a double gap in the middle to keep it all even, but it's still just eight strands, right? Simple as that, it's done. There's no other snare drum in the world. You could change right. snare wires that quick. I could do this in between songs if I wanted to, <laughs> if I was mad enough. Okay, and then the second snare option. This is bronze, this is called EQ. Four wires, a gap of four, and then another four. And that'll give you quite a dry kind of sound. You may be doing funky music and you want a lot of dry articulation. You know, the brass gives you more of a softer kind of thing, might be good for jazz or whatever you feel. And this is more of a kind of rock sound, at least in my view, right? So there's something that you can quickly change and get a different vibe from the snare drum. The same thing with the dampening rings. You know, you can quickly change the, the, the feel of the drum. I also came up with the uh, Protean key ah. because, you know, I'm someone who changes heads a lot. When I do a drum clinic, I've got to change or at least tune 14 skins because I've got quite a large drum set. You have quite a large kit. Now, with the, with the Protean key, right, it means you can, you can do this. You can go quite quick. Yeah. That's the sort of thing you want to do. Look, it's about six turns in one push. In fact, I can do this quicker than I can with a drill. <laughs> so, to get to the point of being finger tight, instead of doing it here, as we used to in the old days, exactly. get covered in grease, rip all your fingers up on the thread. I still do that. You still do that. But I like to go finger tight. So now you just go finger tight with the top of the protein key, right? On the underside of the biggest dampening ring, there's some faint numbers. Yeah, what's and up with that? This is my tuning system. So. I would have all the screws out, you know, I'd put all the screws down to uh, finger tight, and then I follow the system. I go finger tight exactly together. So, you know, I don't, I don't crank this one and then that one. As soon as it starts to hit resistance, I get them up to the same level of resistance. That's number one and number one. Then I go to number two and number two. I do the same thing there. Number three and number three, same thing. Four, always opposite, always with two keys, and number five. Okay, then once I've got them all finger tight, then I start turning on, on this part, but just like a quarter or a yeah. half a turn. Go to number two, same thing, three, four, five, and I keep going round, and that's the most logical, kind of scientific way to get the head on even. Right. It's no point going like crank, 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 crank here, and then crank, crank there, because the head's getting pulled like that, and then yeah. it's getting pulled like this, and it's all over the place. It's all guesswork. Yeah. It's all guesswork. I mean, tuning is quite a black art in itself, right? Because they're not completely discreet. When you twist this, it is affecting the pitch of all the, exactly. yeah. all the other lugs. And, it, you know, young players struggle with tuning, and I get a lot of questions about that. So I decided to make this as simple as possible. And you can apply this method to all your drums, the toms, the bass drum, everything. And that gives the head the best chance of going on straight and being nice and even. I am very impressed. A lot of thought has gone into this. Oh yeah, I thought about every single detail. And then I thought, you know what, I like playing, this is a 14 by five and a quarter. Right. We also I, have. I also like 12 by five. And there's lots of videos of me on YouTube playing a 12 by five. I quite often use a 12 by five when I'm playing clinics, yes. and maybe jazz things, big band things. And I use a 14 as my main snare when I play with Porcupine Tree right. or when I do sessions. So. I thought, if we're going to make this drum, let's make a partner drum to it, which I would, in Porcupine Tree, I would have this off to the left side. And that's the 12 by 5. Same thing, you know, same system, the same three snare wire system. Comes with the box with the extra wires in, and they come in a beautiful case designed by Hard Case. This box slides into the bottom. The foam is all cut out in the bottom of the case. So the snare box sits in there. There's spaces for the protein keys, 
So you've basically got everything you need all tucked up in one nice package. It's a whole kit. It's a whole kit and it's, you know, it's really my dream come true. That's exactly what I would take to a session. I'm, I'm going to get, get the sounds I need from these two drums. Good job. It's really gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Gavin Harrison Pleasure. with the Protein. Protein Sinandrum. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.